Flamethrower flow, let it hit, cause that boy a chameleon I need a million, billion, trillion tokens to buy up a house in Vermillion I need to kill me a couple of trainers and take all they pokey They stash in my pocket, Jesse James like I roll with Team Rocket Giga drain on that clock with a hot pit, I'm in a mosh pit Huh, what? Hey, what? What's poppin', I'm back, I'm black, I'm better than before Unlike your dad, I came back from the stove What's poppin' though, like, what's good? So, uh, this 2020, day two, YouTube shit, uh, what's, hi, hey how you doing? Hey, big head. You're looking kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your boy is back with the content. You hurt, you hurt, you hurt. Now, I know y'all like, oh, he back again? Ha, <laughs> let's see how long this lasts. But hey, have some faith in the boy. And the boy got some pretty interesting topics, right? So one of the topics that I wanted to talk about over on the channel, but I wanted to wait till the new year started because this content was the fact that everybody on the timeline is going brazy brazy about demon slayer becoming the anime of the decade well of course you know that's the best anime to ever come out in a decade what are you talking about you idiot now if you guys don't know there's always these anime awards and shit like that shit is always spewing all over the place everybody wants to give their opinion and pass it as fact but you know most people don't know how to handle opinions because we live in 2020 now and in 2019 nobody can handle the opinion but you know in 2020 i think it's going to be extremely worse because at this point we got into the point where everybody sit there and they tell you my my, my opinion is fact your opinion is wrong and it's just like bitch what did you just say to me like that w w what the what the what like you know what i'm saying it, it gets really really weird when people just straight up tell you your opinion is wrong and it's like yeah i, I mean you, you right i guess because my opinion is wrong to you but it's right to me and your opinion is not my opinion but can we just coexist we can't coexist because you got bad opinions your opinions are always wrong i don't know what's wrong with you how can you not think this is the best anime ever right now there's this big old debate that's going crazy on the timeline it's been carrying on until the new year like i did some research i went looked up some tweets and stuff like that obviously i got tweets when it happened and when demon slayer got nominated as anime of the decade right that's a big title right the anime of the decade right so to be nominated as anime of the decade you have to have been around for at least five years you have to be very influential right now don't get me wrong for all you people who's about to attack me and be like yo shino what you trying to say demon slayer not anime of the decade because you know they got those people out there who go gung-ho they be ready and tweaked out shorty to go at somebody neck as a person i've never truly understood that like don't get me wrong i always try to give my opinion and i always like express it very verbally or like very enthusiastically but i've never actually attacked somebody for like having their own opinion i would usually give them a point to where i don't agree with them or you know if it's in a playful setting then i'll probably roast and joke around but if i knew they were serious i wouldn't go too in depth with it you know what i mean so i never really got people who didn't like like other people's opinions because they thought their opinions was right and i always thought that was extremely weird it really goes back to the beginning of this channel if you guys ever watched any of my previous videos before like 2020 i would always say if you have your own personal thoughts and personal opinions please share those in the comment section below these are my personal thoughts and personal opinions like i'm doing right now now i'm gonna say this you know a lot of animes come through out of nowhere and then they sweep up awards and you know why it's usually promotion i'm, I'm not even gonna flex to you i know a lot of you guys are probably like yo uh, i don't know why this one or you guys actually think that a lot of people voted on this but it's, it's usually a promotional thing and uh, a lot of times these award shows get bought because you can vote on them as many times as you want as long as you just come back at a different day or a different account or some shit like that oh my gosh you know that's not possible the reason why it got voted up so much is because everybody in the family Fandom loves this. It's the best anime ever. So it's always some way that somebody can make an anime, you know, surpass its normal expectations. It's kind of like the My Hero thing. You know, everybody was mad that Crunchyroll had the anime awards and they had that all for one versus all my. Oh, wait. Is it one for all versus all might? That's how much I care about my hero, by the way. Okay, so apparently I said it right the first time. It was all for one versus all might, but I honestly don't give a shit. Don't get me wrong. I think what my hero is doing is good, but like that fight was not memorable for me. Like if I didn't remember their names, then that goes to show that it wasn't really that good of a fight. But they said that fight was better than Momoshiki versus the five Kage and Sasuke. And that was just like somebody did bath salt somebody dropped acid and they did shrooms all in the exact same order and i think they need especially some type of help that is going to get them to a better place like like come on you clearly got to be drunk as shit if you think that all for one versus all might the, the the arm swinging contest literally who can throw the most jab contest was better than the most coordinated fight in all of anime history uh obviously me saying anime history is a big word but let's be honest the choreography in that fight was phenomenal and 
I'm, I'm not gonna undermine it, but mind you, this is my opinion, but uh, all right, whatever. But like I said, it's, it's usually, you know, promotion and it's usually some one weirdo who has access to a thousand plus accounts sitting in his basement. Let me stop you for a second there, buddy boy. Aren't you recording this video in the basement? Yeah, that's what I thought. Shut your ass up. And it just flooded out. Now, I'm gonna give my personal thoughts, personal opinions about Demon Slayer and how I feel about it. As you guys know, you if you come over to my Twitch, I do have a lot of Demon Slayer emotes. Uh, if you look at my banner on the channel, there is Demon Slayer in it. Uh, I've had this background made for myself. I made it myself. And it obviously has Demon Slayer in it. Uh, I will say this. Demon Slayer is probably one of the most beautiful animes to come out within the last 10 years, but I will not say it's number one. Like, there are so many different animes. There are anime movies, there's adaptations, like, there's so many different shows that come out with, like, these beautiful animations, like, Your Name, you know what I'm saying? For example, like, the art in that was amazing, don't get me wrong, that's not an anime, it's an anime movie, so I know they was going off an anime series and stuff like that, but just, that's just an example, you know what I'm saying? Compared to a lot of uh, stuff that's came out recently and everybody's just like oh well this is new so this has got to be it you know what I mean so like don't get me wrong Demon Slayer definitely takes credit for the action you know the way that they handle their uh, pacing as well as the beautiful animation that is being take place in in the show like I think that they did a really really great job with it it's very vibrant very colorful the artistic style of it I really enjoyed a lot and I think it's a very intricate uh, style of art as well as a style of anime because the plot is kind of similar to most battle shonen but they actually gave it a little twist you know what i mean there's a lot of what the fuck moments you know it's a lot of huh what hold up wait like you know what i'm saying it's, it's, it's a lot of those moments where you get engulfed in it and then they hit you with a spiral you know i can honestly say that's probably one of my favorite things about demon slayer how they engulf you in it and then there's always this like plot twist and then like i said the animation is phenomenal it's beautiful like I, I cannot not credit it for that so i can strongly express and i can strongly tell you i understand why a lot of people like this anime why a lot of people love this anime but like just because this anime won an award from an award show doesn't make it anime of the decade because that's an opinion you you, you know what opinion opinion you know what that is that's when you like something and i don't but you like it and i don't i like it and you don't bro can you get on with it already it sounds like you're giving me the birds and the bees conversation like what the actual hell are you talking about at this point you know what the fuck that is? That's an opinion. You should try using it. You should try respecting other people's opinion because if you don't respect another person's opinion, then it becomes convoluted and then there's a pointless conversation and argument going on about some shit that neither of us care about. You know what I'm saying? And now you sweating and I'm sitting here laughing because I don't care and you typing these long ass paragraphs because yes, I, I, I got into some arguments about this on Twitter. Uh, I'm not gonna post those, but if you like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Shino Bentro. Hey yo, real quick though, shameless plug, all my social media are at Shino Bentro. So if you ever looking for me on a platform, just type in at Shino Bentro on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, everything. It, it's all the same thing. Uh, essentially, you know, I just express that I don't think this anime was anime of the decade. There are so many influential animes to the culture. Like, you know, Naruto came through and influenced a lot of stuff. Like, we seen Drake with a Naruto picture, like a Naruto cartoon drawing, you know what I'm saying? We seen uh, uh, Ski Mask make a song with fucking Kurama in it. Like, he was like, uh, Diamonds on me blue, Naruto nine tell fox or some shit like that. Like, I can't remember the exact lyrics, but sir, the lyrics are Naruto nine tell fox. I feel like a Gucci ad lip, bruh. Cooler than Coca Cola. Like, you know, what, what's wrong with you, dog? You better learn your culture, man. I'm, I'm not tired of you out here looking like a stale ass Oreo in 2020. We've seen people use like Naruto as lyricism. I'm not saying that Naruto was the anime of the decade, but in my opinion, it has great potential because Naruto taught an important lesson about not giving up. And then we got stuff like Dragon Ball Z, who has been like the poster child of all of anime since I came out the womb, my nigga. Like, Pokemon is right there. Man, like Pokemon Go started a movement. Pokemon Go had people getting arrested, dog. What? Pokemon is an anime. You know what I'm saying? So in terms of influential and uh anime of the decade, I would have to say it would be something that affects the culture, affects the people. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you walk up to the average person and be like, have you seen anime before? They're gonna say Dragon Ball Z, they're gonna say One Piece, and they're gonna say Naruto. 
That's just simple, plain as that. I'm talking about they might not even watch two minutes of it, but they're going to name that. You know what I'm saying? If they trying to just seem cool and shit, they especially going to name those animes right off the back because those are the most popular. Those were the most influential. You know what I'm saying? Those were the animes that like paved the way. Like I said, when you walk up to somebody who's new into anime, they're not going to say Demon Slayer unless they just started watching like Toonami while this shit airing or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you know, they're not going to just say those animes. They're going to be like, you know, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I've heard people say Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, you know what I'm saying? One Piece, Pokemon. Like, those are animes that have been timeless. You know what I mean? And it honestly, they've lasted the last two decades. If we're being honest, Naruto came out in like the 2000s. I think originally Naruto manga came out in like 1999 or some shit like that. And then they finally got the anime adaptation and it was published in like 2000, 2001 or something like that. And it carried over uh, like 15 plus years, bro. We got on a 20th anniversary of Naruto. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I say 15 plus years is because that's the time that it aired and ended, right? Uh, obviously, these next few years were Boruto. And let's be honest, Boruto is still Naruto. As much as y'all want to say Boruto is his own anime, it says Boruto, Naruto, next generation. Without Naruto, Boruto carry no weight. I mean, it, it is what it is, bro. Like, I'm not trying to be like that guy who, like, shits on everybody but let's be honest bro it is what it is so like uh overall i i can say there's a lot of bunch of animes that i would say would be the anime of the year but i don't think anime of the decade i don't think uh demon slayer should be that if that makes sense because there's way too many uh influential animes that actually impacted like a lot of different cultures and changed the way the culture shocks and the social norms about watching anime was projected you know what i mean uh don't get me wrong this anime is very beautiful very vibrant it's a great anime nonetheless i give it a nine out of ten but it ain't the anime of the decade bitch uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, let me know what you think your anime of the decade is. Uh, I'll be in the comment section sharing my opinions. And with that being said, my name is Shino Metro. Stay true and stay real. And until next time, I'm out this bitch. <laughs> yeah. So y'all really thought a nigga was going to cha-cha slide out shit like that and just not say nothing crazy? Hey, I don't know what Shino talking about, but the, this is the anime of the decade. He kind of dumb, you know. Uh, it's obviously immaculate. It's not a mainstream hype anime by any chance of the fact. You know what I'm saying? But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, yeah, tell him his breast stink or something in the comment section below. And with that being said, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'm not doing that lame shit he be doing. I'm, I'm tired of this dude. Somebody get me out of here.